What's up guys, welcome back to Rocket Recommends. This week, we're gonna be looking at the very spooky Luigi's Mansion 3. This is the third game in the Luigi's Mansion franchise and it adds some cool new features while maintaining the core gameplay from the first two games. Let's take a closer look at what this game has to offer. Yoohoo! Luigi's Mansion 3 is an incredibly unique gameplay experience. Technically, it is defined as an action-adventure game, however, the best way to describe it is basically if you were playing a Ghostbusters video game in the Mario world. And of course, the game stars the easily frightened Luigi making his way through a large haunted hotel. While the hotel is haunted, this game is not a scary or horror game and is more of a fun and goofy experience as you get to witness Luigi's funny reactions to his spooky surroundings. The story starts with Luigi, Mario, Princess Peach, and a group of toads going on vacation to a mysterious hotel that they were invited to. However, the invitation was a trap by King Boo, and now Luigi, along with his pet ghost dog, must make their way through the hotel in order to rescue his friends. Throughout the game, you are also aided by Professor E. Gadd, who is a staple in the Luigi's Mansion franchise. You're able to communicate with him throughout the game using a cell phone-like device, and he helps you on your journey through the hotel. A new feature in the series is the introduction of Guigi, which is a doppelganger of Luigi made of green goo or slime. He's able to do some things that Luigi cannot do, such as move across spikes and locate hidden boos. The core gameplay is pretty much exactly how you would imagine a Ghostbusters game to be. You walk around with a vacuum that is called the Poltergust that can suck up ghosts and try to weaken them by pulling them around, slamming them into the ground, or slamming them into each other. Once you're able to weaken them enough and deplete their health, you will be able to suck them up and defeat them. Some other features of the Poltergust is that you can stun ghosts using a special light bulb, you can use a black light feature that can light up hidden objects, and also the suction shot, which fires a suction cup with a string attached to it, which will help you pull objects around. On top of just the single player experience, there are also two multiplayer modes. One of them is a co-op mode where you fight through a skyscraper that has randomly generated floors, and the other one is a team versus team mode where you compete against another team to see who can either catch more ghosts or who can complete an objective faster. Overall, the gameplay in Luigi's Mansion is incredibly unique and is nothing like I have ever played before. The gameplay also works really well, making Luigi's Mansion 3 an amazing gaming experience. Hey Luigi! It's incredibly tough to compare this game to other games since it does have such a unique playstyle. However, if you are a fan of the Mario franchise, especially Luigi, you would like this game. If you like the concept of Ghostbusters or Haunted Houses, you would also like this game. If you want a new, fresh experience playing a game that you have never played anything close to it before, you would like this game. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 is rated E for everyone and is only rated for comic mischief and mild cartoon violence. This is typically what you get from a Mario franchise game and they never disappoint. This game's unique and fresh playstyle really does make it a game for everyone. In conclusion, Luigi's Mansion 3 is a wonderfully unique experience in gaming and combines the Mario franchise with Ghostbuster type elements. It's truly a crossover that you never knew you wanted, but it does wonders. Following a cowardly Luigi throughout a haunted hotel provides endless entertainment and the fact that there's also a multiplayer mode that gives extra content for you to enjoy with your friends makes this game even more worth it. You can pick up Luigi's Mansion 3 in stores or on the eShop today for the Nintendo Switch.